Wow, what a mess. Hi, my name is Chris Chambers. I'm the support specialist here at Decagon Devices. Once in a while, problems do occur with your gear, and I'm here with just a few quick troubleshooting tips to try and help you resolve the problem as soon as possible. Okay, this is not the best installation I've ever seen. All kinds of exposed cables here, nothing's labeled. Um, it, it, it's going to be a little bit tricky to try and find out where the exact problem is. Um, the first thing we want to do is try to make sure our connections are all okay. Make sure everything is plugged in snugly. And then next, we're going to want to inspect our cables to make sure there's no damage. Oh, looks like we have a damaged cable right here. We know that the sensor hasn't been logging data on the data logger recently. Um, I suspect this is the culprit right here. To find out for sure, we're going to clip the cable beneath, uh, beneath the damage uh, so that we have undamaged cable next to the sensor. And we're going to strip this out and test it with a handheld reader. This is the ProCheck handheld reader. It's indispensable when troubleshooting sensors. It comes with a nice little adapter that you can use to test uh, cables that are stripped. And it's just gonna connect this to this. and it looks like the sensor is functioning properly. Okay, one more test, just to be absolutely sure, is to test it in air. Uh, and that's an approximate air reading, so it looks like it's reading well in air, and then to see if it's responding to a change in dielectric or soil moisture, you can wrap your hand around it and make sure that the reading goes up. This is just a good relative, relative reading to see, uh, to see if it looks like it's functioning well. I think this is probably a good sensor, so the most expedient way to repair this would be to just splice in some new cable, and uh, if you have enough, uh, you should be good to go. We've had a sensor that we don't quite believe the readings on. This could be from an improper installation or something wrong with the sensor itself. So we want to do a little bit better test than we did with the hand test. So we are going to excavate the sensor, sometimes you have to do it, and test it in air and water. The 5TE should read very close to zero meters cubed per meters cubed in air and very close to one meters cubed per meters cubed in water. Uh, so we're going to test it in air first and that reading is looking pretty good and then we're going to immerse it in water all the way up to the cable and make sure that the sensor is not near the edges of any container. And it's reading about 1.011 meters cubed per meters cubed. So I think the sensor is working just fine and might possibly have, have had a poor installation. Okay, so it looks like all of the sensors themselves are actually functioning. We're going to splice this cable up here and reinstall both of those sensors that we excavated. Tighten up this cable mess here so that the cables are better protected and then we should be getting good data. So I'm much happier with this installation than with the previous one. The cables are all well protected. They're nicely labeled here. Uh, at the bottom of this underground, we have a little elbow piece here uh, to protect the cables as they bend. And each one is labeled underground too, so that if we have to, so if we have to excavate, uh, then we can dig straight to the cable that we need. Um, it shouldn't run into any more problems with rodents and it should get really good data.